it is cold and windy. This morning it was minus 22 Celsius, minus 8 Fahrenheit. Still, this is this is too cold for me, man. Today's video, guys, is out of sequence. I told you that there's going to be some of these coming. It is out of sequence, so you're going to notice there's no snow on the ground with this delivery uh, from Log Holler Jesse. I hope you like this one. We got a bunch of hickory on this load, and I'm not used to seeing hickory coming in on the logging truck, so I'm excited about that. What I'm really excited about, though, is live stream. The mother of all live streams is coming up this weekend, Saturday night, January 29th at 9 p.m. Be there. Guys, I got so much stuff to give away. Our sponsors have been very generous, and I'm talking Easton Made. Yappa, Metzo Machines, Lepo, Titan, Thorough Good Boots. Guys, I'm giving everything away and I'm going to give it to you, but you got to be on the live stream and I hope to see you there. All right, guys, it is too cold for me to be standing out here. All right, so here we go. On with the show. Oh, it's this way. On with the show. It is cold, guys. And Log Hauler Jesse is on site here with another load. We have been moving you know, all of our logs to the back 40. However, this load is prime for the Yappa. And I just have a feeling I'm going to get all these logs processed here pretty quick. Get them stacked. Uh, and I'll just get them done with the Yappa. Been having such a warm winter. And now, you know, the cold's come in. The ground is frozen like a rock. And the plan is to get all of this, you know, the, the Yappa, the live deck, all of the machines moved to the back 40 in March. So for now, you know, the plan obviously was to get all these logs processed and just open this whole area up. But I can get these logs processed pretty quick. These are really nice looking. I saw a lot of maple. And there's hickory in there, and these will go through pretty quick. So I just thought I'd let you guys see the delivery. And, you know, it's just a, uh, uh, it's a great day to be in firewood. I love supply. This driveway where Jesse's backed in on, uh, you know, and the outriggers are going to go into, this is going to be load number seven. Seven. Uh, and these are seven loads that I would not have this year if not for that route. So it has paid off right away. All right, let's enjoy the show. I think what he's doing is warming up his claw, huh? Because uh, they got to get the hydraulic fluid to go flowing through that. I'm a little worried about the sun backlighting this, so I'm going to move over to this side, guys. I am loaded up for a delivery. This is going out uh, to a restaurant. I got the whole uh, trailer loaded up with a cord. Restaurants want hickory, and I don't get a lot of it coming in off the trucks. Hickory seems to be the wood that your backyard burners want more. A lot of the restaurants 
I have learned they don't really uh, care much for hickory. I think because if you're trying to run a restaurant, you're trying to appeal to a large um, cross-section of customers, and hickory is a pretty strong hickory is a pretty strong um, flavor. So uh, that's just the way I see things. I have one restaurant, you know, that wants all these hardwoods, and they had already come out and said we do not want any hickory. They just think it's too strong. I think it's awesome. There's nothing that smells better than a nice hickory stick on a fire. And here's some more. Guys, we're gonna have some hickory coming out. Maybe I'll do some uh, filming on the Yappa running hickory through it. I don't know if we've got any good footage of it. I got my table loaded up now. This table is loaded up with uh, maple. And uh, I got like just a couple oak logs here on the back that will get stacked in the uh, oak yard. Those are maple logs there. challenge for Jesse is he's got his outriggers back on the gravel so he's back a little bit farther than probably he would want and he's got a longer reach now with his crane to get these logs laid right so that's why I think you see a number of them coming in crooked the weight that's on that grapple and it's all being transferred through that frame onto the frame of this truck. Uh, this load here looks awesome guys. there. There's maple. So look at all the extra care that Jesse's doing with this delivery. You know, that log was in there crooked, which makes unloading it with the fork um, a little bit difficult. And he took that extra time to get it so that it's all laying right. live deck and before I had my Bobcat tractor I had already always asked the loggers to have the butt ends of the logs on this side uh, it just made uh, rolling and loading them onto my log lift a lot easier uh, but now with the fork on or the grapple on my tractor it doesn't really matter to me anymore there's some more hickory and some maple boy this is nice looking wood got back from a delivery. I had delivered a half a quart of oak. I came home for lunch. I had to put some air in my tire and my truck because it seems to always go low when the temperature gets cold. And Jesse called and asked if I was able to bring in a, uh, a load. Of course I said yes. Man, look at that log. It's just dangling right over top of him. And 
right, so here we are. I can't wait to get busy on these. This load has come from a logger, so I pay the logger for this load and the logger pays Jesse. That's just how some of these deals are made out. Um, some of our other deals where I pay the logger and Jesse, uh, everything's separate. That's a big hickory log up there. Gee whiz. Yeah. That little short log right there is a hickory log, and that looked to be about a 14 inch, uh, a 14 inch trunk. Here it comes. Oh, and he's gonna lay it right on the front, so that's gonna be one of my first ones I'll be making. Gee, thanks. <laughs> and here's our last view. Look at this hickory log here, guys. Oh, this is a big one. There's gonna be a lot of wood in this. Yeah, that's a pretty big hickory log here, huh? All right. So we were admiring, this is a really nice, there's a lot of hickory in this. Yeah, you don't see a lot of hickory, it seems, that comes off of your truck, so, yeah. Something's done too, huh? Yeah, right. So I noticed that you ran your log into the uh, your emissions. Is that just a, a cover or battery battery box? Okay, we'll have to get one. I don't think I ran it. I think it'd be all right. Okay. Just with the rubber band. <laughs> all right. So Jesse, we've gotten some cold weather. Has this slowed down your job, or has things picked up? Uh, might have slowed me down a little bit. I'm a little bit creakier when I get moving. Yeah, I bet you. Pretty it's cold up there today. But uh, now, right now, this is like the middle of summer for them when it's frozen. One of the jobs they got, uh, it's probably about a thousand feet or more, and the, the field's frozen right now, so they're bringing out firewood. Normally, they don't like to bring it out because it'll get mud on it, so they're nice and clean or somewhat. Yeah. As clean as you can get for right now. Yeah, these look like the perfect load of firewood for me. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> How's your truck been doing? Everything good? Much. You still gotta like snug up your bolts. Uh, I haven't really done that here. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I've been trying to get home and be normal, and it's just not easy to do. Uh huh. Is that an inspection point if you don't brush off your if you're leaving trails of crumbs on the road? Well, if they want to be mean to you, they call it an insecure load. Really? Yeah, because you know. It's, one of those things that flies off and hits a car that's insecure load sure and it's it's well, not a good thing to do so it's best to knock off as much as you can you can't get it all but i have learned that when i put my name on the side of my truck that i behave a little bit differently <laughs> when yeah, i'm driving up and down I'm the still road learning that one yeah i'll bet you're probably a little bit more difficult to corner with this big truck than uh than most people I'm easier to find, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. There ain't very many of these on the road. This is a pressurized tank. And then they can tap on the camera. Oh, yeah. Like put a tank here. They can pop them out like a dent. All right. And that, that's just a uh -huh. <laughs> But I didn't know what I did. And normally I can tell you exactly everything I've done I've had on this truck. And that one disappeared. 
Yeah. So you think just the log slid down in here and whacked it then, huh? Yeah, it would have had to come on this angle through here, so it could have easily rolled, hit this, or rolled off the pile. Like I said, that's kind of my blind spot. I can't. Uh-huh. I got off the truck and seen it, so. All right. Now this never gets warm though, does it? Yeah, it feels yeah. a little warm. Yeah. Okay. Summertime, that thing you won't want to touch it. No kidding, it gets that hot. Hate the fan on. Alright. The circulate the temperature gets sometimes up to 170. Yeah. Alright. You know when you blow a hose you sit back there. I'll bet. Alright, we'll see you log hauler Jesse. See you later. Alright. So we'll let him get on down the road, guys. But you know, I was looking here at his crane he's got all this these bolts that we watched him install those are all still holding everything on and now he's heading on down the road and hopefully not running into my truck <laughs> all right he's gone but here you go guys another nice load I'm uh, uh, I'm sitting pretty right now. <laughs> I think I've got more loads on my land right now than I got all of last summer. That's how bad it was with our deliveries. Um, and I had bought most of our firewood last year with these agreements I have with these other guys that make firewood. That's how bad it got. But for right now, you know, this weather has turned cold. The ground is frozen. Uh, the loggers, he said it's like summertime for them. They are out and they're doing everything they can while this ground is frozen. They had lost most of December because of the mud. So I'm liking this and I'm liking this big hickory log. <laughs> Let's see what kind of firewood we can make out of that. Maybe we'll do a whole uh, a video of that coming up. All right, guys, I hope everyone has a great day. And there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was so much nicer weather-wise then. The ground was frozen, no snow, and it was cold, but not that cold. Because now, it is that cold. So I'm going to go on inside and warm up. Guys, again, live stream, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, USA. Guys, I hope to see everyone there. Everyone, have a great day.